The German military created the Messerschmitt Mi-323 Gigant or Giant, the largest land-based transport aircraft during World War II. It could transport 130 troops or 25,000 pounds of payload with six counter-rotating blades and a wingspan of more than 180 feet. Every Mi-323 utilized by the Duce Africa Corp on the German Eastern Front was destroyed by enemy fire. There is no entire wreckage left today. German military planners plan to conduct Operation Sea Lion, a planned invasion of the United Kingdom. In 1940, by requiring a huge assault glider to ferry men and supplies over the English Channel. The Grunt DFS-230 gliders from Germany was deemed too light and tiny to carry 2,600 pounds of payload. The Third Reich required airplanes that could transport heavy cargo to the British shoreline. Due to damage to the German naval and aircraft losses during the Battle of Britain, Operation Sea Lion was postponed. The Germans, on the other hand, were dead set on invading the Soviet Union and plans for Operation Barbarossa were put up, emphasizing the necessity for large transport planes. On October 18, the German military requested suggestions from Junkers and Messerschmitt for a big transport glider capable of transporting 88mm guns and a half tractor or Panzerkampfwagen advanced medium tank. The Junkers Ju-322 Mammoth was cancelled because its wood construction and high-grade lumber, which was difficult to procure. The prototype's first flight underperformed, revealing its instabilities. The project was a major defeat for Germany's military. Messerschmitt suggested a more capable aircraft, first known as the ME261W, which was eventually renamed the Messerschmitt ME321. The glider was utilized for transport in Africa and throughout the Eastern Front, although it was never deployed as an attack craft. Other 200 airframes were completed, the unpowered design proved unworkable. For takeoff, the ME321 had to be pulled by three BF-110 twin-engine fighters and aided by rocket boosters, ending in the biggest aircraft accident in history. The design of the ME323 glider was influenced by the ME321, which included six engines based on BF-110 low aircraft. The engines were purchased from France, which was governed by Germany, to lessen reliance on the military industry. The GNOME radial engines were installed in the aircraft. The original ME323 was sluggish and unresponsive, and improvements on the wheeled landing mechanism and defensive weaponry had to be done without materially changing the fuselage. The original ME321 glider design included simply a disposable undercarriage that slid off the plane as it rose into the air. The Messerschmitt 323 was a flying whale that could transport up to 12 tons of freight, including soldiers, tanks, guns, and medical personnel. For takeoff, the Volter HWK 109 500 rocket was used. To save weight, the fuselage was supported by steel tubes while the wings were composed of fabric-lined wood. 7.92mm caliber guns or 13mm MG131 machine guns were used to oppose aircraft. Despite these defensive weapons, the plane remained slow and vulnerable to opposing strikes. Several types were produced throughout the course of manufacturing, including the early ME323 D1 and E1 versions, which sported two HDL-151 turrets with powerful 20mm guns on top wing surfaces. Estimate range between 198 and 210 aircraft, however, none survived the World War II. The largest land-based transport aircraft the Messerschmitt ME321 and ME323 gave Germany the notion that it might rule the sky indefinitely. They did, however, give great service during the war, working on the front of Soviet Union and Tunisia. 
the battleground in North Africa was continually shifting with Axis troops and armies edging out successes. Due to Malta's British colonial status, Germany's supply routes from Italy to Malta and Tunisia were extremely difficult. The Luftwaffe pound in Malta, but the stubborn island was spared. As the Germany's attempts in North Africa flattered, MH323s were transported in swarms from Sicily, bringing them to the Tunisian campaign in September 1942 and their involvement in the Mediterranean theater in November. Due to the loss of Axis ships following Allied attacks, the German Africa Corps relied on ME-323s for equipment. Despite the possibility of a triumph in Tunisia, Adolf Hitler continued to back his African troops. The ME-323s' slow pace was their undoing as British fighters rapidly dispatched them. The huge size of the aircraft made maneuvering to escape enemy fire difficult. The extended journey durations exposed the aircraft to too much enemy fire despite their robust wooden steel combination. Aircraft machine guns and cannons supported German cargo planes such as the ME-323, although their usefulness was limited due to their low range and difficulties aiming. Many of these planes were swallowed by the Mediterranean Sea, leaving them susceptible to British and ally fire. Between 1942 and 43, around 15,000 metric tons of military material was supplied to Tunisia and, and Bizalta airports with roughly 1,200 trips from Italy to Tunisia. Over 300 trucks, 200 medium-sized weapons, 300 light guns and perhaps 100 ground combat vehicles were among the equipment. The Axis countries suffered substantial losses as a result of the Holy Thursday and Palm Sunday massacres with 123 to 157 dead. On April 22, 1943, the Yonkos Ju-52 was a serious loss of Mrs. Schmidt ME-323. Allied fighters stopped a fleet of 27 land-based delivery planes resupplying Tunisia. The formation of ME-323s was joined by Ju-52s and additional aircraft. However, halfway through their expedition, they diverted from the initial orders and headed for Cape Bon. The majority of escort and combat aircraft stayed with the Ju-52s, leaving the huge group with only 36 fighter partners. Despite possessing 36 fighters, the South African Air Force Command opted to break away from the main air convoy, making cargo planes easy targets. The South African Force dispatched 38 P-40 Warhawk fighters together with a squadron of Spitfires to pursue the enemy aircraft over the Gulf of Tunis. The Allied fighters nearly entirely destroyed the 22 Messerschmitt Me-323 freight planes that crashed into the Mediterranean Sea. The majority of the ME-323 fleet on the North African front was destroyed within hours. The Luftwaffe evacuated the Messerschmitt ME-323 aircraft from the North African front and diverted them to the Soviet Union, probably in anticipation of the Allies' eventual claim to Northern Africa. By the conclusion of the war, not a single plane remained and the most complete wreck was discovered in Mediterranean Sea in 2012 by La Maddalena. The last Messerschmitt ME-323 is currently slowly dying underwater, coated with algae and coral.